We are continuing to follow another breaking story. It's bond hearing, a bond hearing today for Stephen Mason. He's a man charged in the death of Kayleigh Morris, a young hospital worker who died two years ago. The assistant district attorney has requested that Mason be held without bond, but will the judge agree? Local 15 Zora Asbury is at the courthouse with the latest developments in the case in Zora. Have they made a decision yet? Darwin, they have not. Just a few hours ago, Stephen Mason stood before a judge to find out his fate and see if he'll ever be able to let off on bond. Now, whenever we spoke to the district attorney, the assistant district attorney, Jennifer Wright, she requested that the defendant has no bond and that he serve the rest of his life, or at least his term, in jail. Now, if for any reason the judge would grant a bond, Wright did request that it be so high it would be unlikely that he could pay it. We asked the judge if he were in any way inclined to give a bond, that we would, he would give a $1 million cash bond with electronic monitoring um, so that we would ensure that he had no contact with any of our witnesses. Now, we also learned that Mason has been in contact with several witnesses while in jail. And Wright says if the judges do grant Mason a bond, that it will be $1 million with electronic monitoring. That's what she's hoping for. She also hopes that will prevent him from contacting witnesses in the future. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with this case, Mason is the man who the court believes is responsible for the death of Kali Morris. Now, Morris was a University of South Alabama student and Mobile infirmary, infirm, infirmary employee. Now, she was shot and killed outside of her apartment in 2015. For two years, there were no arrests in her case, and Mason was also an employee at the Mobile Infirmary and has been arrested for the murder in the past for the death of his ex-girlfriend. Now, Stephen Mason's next hearing is set for June and will continue to follow this story as it develops. Reporting in Mobile, Zora Asbury, Local 15.